Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. With the season drawing to a close, so much at stake in the fight for a playoff berth. They're lucky to have this man at running back for them, leading the charge toward the postseason. It's the Texans going up against the Raiders. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth as we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, for only the second time ever in the regular season and first since 2005, the NFL has come south of the border to amazing Mexico City. Estadoche, another installment in the International Series, and we've got a good AFC matchup in store between the Houston Texans and the Oakland Raiders. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. They come in playing pretty well, 6-3 and three in their last nine games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Texans, we're in November now, so this is where you really need to set. Start getting down to business. And in baseball, they talk about the dog days of August. November, these are the dog days of football. Trying to get in position for the big push. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now they'll run it on the toss. And an alley to run. Legs still churning like a giant pinball. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Toss. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Now they'll run it on the toss. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. Well, sometimes we talk running backs, sometimes we talk wide receivers. Walford, the tight end in this unit, very important. Clive Walford, a terrific player. Knows how to work the inside portions of the field, but also can surprise you and get deep. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. He loses. toss uses the stiff arm and able to break one tackle but then quickly brought down five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five and a look now at the defense for houston kevin johnson's skills just continue to get better and better an elite athlete out on the corner he's up to the challenge of any receiver Now 
they'll run it on the toss. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. There's so many things that go into playing the position of linebacker. Some of them are actually subtle. Doing the drill work that you do all the time in practice and carrying it over to the game. Get rid of blockers and get to the ball carrier and knock him down for a loss. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Uses the stiff arm, and he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I don't want to downplay the run, but that's exactly what I expected out of him coming out of college. When I look back at my draft analysis, one of the highest rated players on my board, a three down back who can do everything. And one of the best parts of his game is what he does when he doesn't have the football because he carries it really well, but he blocks equally as well, as well as pass protects for his quarterback. I think he's going to be special. Now they'll run it on the toss. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. They've got it second and ten to start things out. Now they'll run it on the toss. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. And here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll fight his way down inside the ten to the nine-yard line. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth. No back out now to kick this one away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> Four yards remaining now on second down. All right, here we go. Five and now they'll run it on the toss. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. We really didn't have any doubt that he was going to be one of the top rated rookies coming into the league, especially as a runner. And he's given us no reason to change our minds. That's a big time run. And the production that he showed us in college is translating very well into the National Football League. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. All right, here we go. Red 18. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's brought down. Give him 13 on the pick up there. Good enough for an Oakland first down. He's quite an eyeful, isn't he? Big, strong, physical guy. When he came out of school and when I looked at my draft board, I went back through my notes to see how I had him rated. The number two back on my board coming out of college. Why? As I mentioned, big. 
strong, powerful guy, faster than you would think, right, and has the ability to catch the football out of the backfield, something that we didn't know he truly possessed. We saw that in the offseason workouts. Now he's putting his running ability to good use in the NFL. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, it usually doesn't work very well, and we saw in that play, he'll run right through those attempted plays. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to more NFL action on EA Sports after this. Now they'll run it on the toss. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Now here's Shane Leckler on to put it away to his longtime team, the Raiders. He'll return it from the six. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and ten. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. The last time out they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. All right, here we go. Red, 18. Now they'll run it on the toss. Big play there just before halftime. 62 yards. I guess that's what happens when you give the current NFL rushing leader that much room. And when you do, all you're doing is solidifying his standing at the top of the leaderboard. He's going to continue to get more and more yards. Good luck trying to chase him down. And now a first down following that long gain. Toss. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. From our vantage point, that was just one bad play by the offensive line in a series of really good ones tonight. But I know that they're going to be really ticked off. It's a lot like a baseball pitcher losing a no-hitter late in the game. Give him three yards on the run. Now they'll need to drop something good here on third and 13. J.J. Watt makes another tackle there, and, and it's for a minimal gain. And let's face it, if that's all you're going to get running the ball, you're not going to have much success against him and his team. Or, yeah, you better find a way to go around J.J. Watt, which isn't easy to do. It's really not, because you've got to try everything. Can you go around him? Can you go by him? Can you influence him to get him out of position so maybe you can wall him off? He's a really sharp, intelligent player, as well as a physical specimen. Another good... No back out now to kick this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. 
good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Now they'll run it on the toss. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. tonight he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there second down well he didn't make headway on that one but he's had plenty of carries all night long i just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much now they'll run it on the toss and for one of the first times tonight he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage back to back stops make it third and ten they tried to run it to the short side of the field. There just wasn't a whole lot of room to work with. Yeah, it seems like things just kept getting strung out towards the sideline, and he kept looking for a spot to dive up into the gap. There just wasn't one, so that turned into nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And no gain. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Back now in Mexico City. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Now they'll run it on the toss. 20! And he's in for the score, and his spectacular season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown record. He is phenomenal. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one. Here's Shane Leckler now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, what a juke into space. Spins past another. Oh, my man. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is into the end zone, and the touchdown record is now all his. And that's only the third time in NFL history we've had a run of exactly 97 yards into the end zone. So we're witnessing a little bit of history right there, partner. And what makes it that much more impressive for me is that if you're on defense, you're expecting them to run the ball. They're on their own three-yard line. Not many people risking throwing it. So you expect them to do exactly what they did, yet it still breaks for 97 yards. That's a long way. And some quick research. The other two, 2004. toss and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24 yard line a gain of three second down 
And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Now they'll run it on the toss. Ooh, with a juke. Sheds a second man. He's building up some momentum, isn't he? And he's brought down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. In the red zone this time. Now they'll run it on the toss. <laughs> Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's at the cornerback position. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now they'll run it on the toss. He juked him. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. And now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he goes back. And now the Texans want to call another timeout. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. Second and goal, ball on the seven-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. Finishing strong with three fourth-quarter touchdowns. And the Raiders add on to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got... Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. But that certainly felt like an example of the defense just saying, okay, <laughs> we've had enough. We've gotten mashed all night long. About time we got a good play in. But flip it over to the offensive side. They've got to be really upset that they allowed a play like that to happen. They were pitching such a great game. They want to keep it going. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, 
They had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Or are you I, one of those guys that's glad you took my advice? Got your notes laminated. Because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly. Wise beyond his years. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night, everybody.